Hello friends, welcome to Take Two for this Wednesday, the 29th of January, 2020. I'm Jeannie, so glad you decided to come along for the ride on this home day. I hope you're having a great day so far. Well, I'm entitling today's Take Two, I Know Who I Am, and let me explain why. I have been uh, told a uh, time or two that I'm a little too sensitive about some things. And something very interesting happened to me the other day. I was uh, in the store and I was shopping and I was pushing a cart and I was just getting ready to go check out so I got up to the to the bank of uh, the checkers and I went to go turn my cart and it was a big big aisle and there was somebody coming towards me it was a whole group of people it was one woman pushing her cart and then the kids and all this and she was sort of coming towards me while I was going this way now please imagine this if you will so she did didn't look like she was going on the checkout line. She just looked like she was heading towards me. So as she was heading towards me, I saw an empty space. So I turned that way to go walk to the checkout. And suddenly she yelled, oh yeah, that's really nice doing that or some such thing as that. And I said, excuse me? She goes, whatever, like that. And I thought, what did I do? What did I do? Immediately, I got all sensitive, and I said, what did I do? I said, ma'am, if you wanted to check out, go ahead. You're welcome to go ahead. Forget it, she said, and just kept going. This is the example she was setting for her children, and I just thought, this is so awful. I, I worried about that for hours afterwards, even days. I started thinking to myself, what did I do? What did I do wrong? What did I, I don't even know what she was upset about, that she thought I cut her off or because she wanted to check out. She didn't really look like she was ready to check out, so I was very confused. Okay, part one of the story. Now, part two happened this morning, and that was this. It was drizzling out. I had been to Winn-Dixie to get a few groceries, and as I was coming out of when Dixie, I I put the stuff in my car, and there was really no place to return the cart to. Now I know a lot of people will just leave it in the parking lot, but I didn't. I took my cart and I wheeled it all the way back into the store, and I put it with the other shopping carts. And a man was there who was just walking out, and he looked at me square in the eye and he said, "Bless your heart." And I thought, well, well, of course I would return the cart. What else would I do? Now, please understand, there's a fine line sometimes between self-confidence and conceit. So I'm not telling you this so I can pat myself on the back at how wonderful I am, but I can tell you this. That's who I am. That's who I am. I'm not some horrible scoundrel who did something awful to somebody at the other store. I'm not. I did nothing wrong, and I really, it took a long time for me to realize I'd done nothing wrong. She would have found trouble no matter what. She probably makes it a habit to do that on a daily basis to a lot of people, sadly, and is raising her children to probably will they will do the same. But who I am was the person who returns the card inside the store. That's who I am. And I'm proud to say that I'd rather do a better thing and a nice thing than a selfish and mean thing. So that's what I'm going to encourage you to do today, boys and girls, is go out and be a blessing to somebody today. You may end up being the only one who is. And just because it's drizzling, don't let that stop you from returning your shopping cart inside the store if necessary. Don't let that stop you from doing that for somebody else. And you could be kind to them and be a blessing that way. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jeannie Sigler, J-E-A-N-N-E-S-I-G-L-E-R. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. You'll be notified every time another Take Two is posted. Okay, y'all be blessed now. Have a great hump day and know who you are. And I hope it's a good one. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.